Hi, Mrs. Rossi. I'm here about the weekend job. Come on in. They put him in a veteran's home, but he hated it. Colonel's a gentleman. A real hero. This is some guy. Down deep, the man is a lump of sugar. Get in here, you idiot. What do you want? What do you mean, what I want? What do you want here? I want, I want a job. A job? I promise you an easy 300 bucks. I don't get an easy feeling. How's your skin, son? I like my aides to be presentable. Well, I, I've had a few sets, um, but my roommate, he let me his clinic because plus he's from Chestnut Hill and he's got The History of My Skin by Charles Sims. Get out my dress blues. They're in a garment bag in the closet. Are, are we going someplace, Colonel? What business is that of yours? Don't shrug, you imbecile. I'm blind. Our destination is New York City. I, I'm just gonna have to turn right around and come back. <laughs> Charlie's having a difficult weekend. How does he look like he's holding up? Oh, he looks fine to me. Don't think I can't see women because I can't see women. Boy, you have a one-track mind. <laughs> women are the essence of life. She's wearing flores. Fleur de Rokai. Ogilvy's sister soul. That's amazing. Well, I'm in the amazing business. I, I should be getting back to school. Ooh. I don't think you're gonna make it. You said that the last shuttle leaves at 10 o'clock. I lied. All I want is one last tour of the battlefield. You're just in a slump right now. How would you know, watching MTV all your life? Ooh. From Martin Brest, director of Midnight Run and Beverly Hills Cop. Make your own rules. Be your own board of governors. <laughs> Pay your own dues. I don't know whether they shoot you or adopt you. It's not much of a choice, is it, sir? Al Pacino. <sighs> Chris O'Donnell. Scent of a woman. What a marvelous place.